Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am BS Raven as always, and today I am going to be playing a gem of a game from my childhood, Plock. Plock was a SNES game designed by the Pickford brothers, Steve and John. Now, I have actually sent Steve an email trying to find out who owns the copyright to this, because I would like to figure out what's going on on that front. Now, the game actually goes through a tutorial if you let it sit too long, which is actually quite a nice thing. It's a very basic platformer. It's, it fell foul of Bubsy the Bobcat and the, oh god, not another cutie cartoon platformer of whatever the year it was that caused that. Yes, Pluck came before Rayman and did the throwing limbs thing first. It was released, well, it was developed by Software Creations. I can't remember who published it at this moment in time, but I do know that they have since gone under. Steve and John, by the way, currently make indie games for the iSeries. Well, well, the iDevices, I suppose the best way to put it would be. Um, I actually spent a lot of time on this game as a kid, and I will tell you now, it is bloody hard. No passwords, no saves. You beat the game in one sitting, or you don't beat it at all. At least at the time. Modern technology means that I'm actually able to do save states and the like. Um, yeah, the tutorial's short, which is a good thing, because it's not exactly a complex game. Well, there is also quite a nice little background sound going on here. Yeah, John and Steve keep, still have the copyright to the character, and they would like to do more, but the word they'll be considered a Rayman ripoff for it. And everything just goes to hell. Like, there's not much plot to the game, but it's... got charm to it, really. Um, oh dear, my pad appears to have stopped working. Um, excuse me a moment. Plus, yeah, there we go. Oh, I have my buttons back. Yeah, um, I'm not actually too confident with playing this without a controller. I'm using a PS3 one with Motion Enjoy. So this is how the game starts. What a fab day! Nice and quiet. No worries. Hey! Something's wrong! Where's my big square flag? Someone swiped it! Yeah, the game has a... Where has it gone? Who's got my flag? You'll be sorry, whoever you are. Where is it? Hmm, creepy crag? Nope. Randomy Bog? Nope. Rosie Beach? Nope. Where else could it be? Aha! There it is. On Cotton Island. There'll be trouble. I'm coming to get ya. The limbs, the limbs are gonna fly. There's a nice little thing where, between levels, the game will actually show Plock moving across the world. It's quite a nice little thing. The game starts out on Cotton Island, 
will eventually moves over to acrylic. At least it should do. But regardless, the game begins now. Yeah, as well as his arms, Plot can actually throw his legs around. You have your standard jump for platforming. And you have your somersault, which is, to begin with, basically a super jump. But later on it will get upgraded, I'll show you that. It's actually a part of the an entire part of the game dedicated to that even. Oh! Yeah, the game doesn't start out too hard either, which is a nice thing. Da -da -da -da. Hey! This isn't my flag! Yeah, Cotton Island is hilarious. It's because of what they replace the flag with every time. I must have been mistaken. There it is. Cotton Island. Oh god, I forgot that exists. Ah, yes. The buzzsaw. Yes. Ah, fish! Bug! Now, the other fun thing you can find are these. These turn Plock into something completely special or crazy. In this example, he is Plocky, the boxer. Yes, that's right. He gets unlimited punches, because normally, if you, over, if you overdo it, you run out of limbs. Not with Plocky, you don't. Yes, he walks weird. What's going on? I'll get that flag this time. Also, whilst it changes on the background, there, uh, whilst it changes, what? Uh, let me try that again. Whilst it's on the world map thing, the time of day actually changes as the game progresses. Yeah, notice something off here? Uh, oh god, I forgot how hard those things hit. I never did figure out what the gems did. Whatever it, it, they do, they don't last long. It's always these fellas that bring them up. Ooh. They're worth points anyway, so pick them up. Ah! Yeah, it's quite impressive, this game, actually. Oh! Like, in terms of the effect it has? Whoa! Oh god! Ah! Okay, so I almost killed Plock then. Ah, being diddled again! Yeah, remember that flag? It actually shows up again as later on. Hmm, this flag has a mind of its own. Oh god. Yeah, welcome to Log Falls. The name is apt. Because, oh god, the logs. Oh god! Ah. This is not a very kind game if you're not very good at platformers. But most I'm not most I'm not bad, this is not my best genre. Oh yeah, I got a bonus block. Every time you gather I think it's a hundred of these butterfly shell things, you get a bonus block. Sit them applies with a plot continue which you get for doing four levels in a row without dying. Yeah, this is making me mad. You know, I get the feeling something fishy is going on. Yeah, don't don't worry about those two at the bottom. They'll make sense eventually. Yes, yeah, the rickety bridge. Watch. Notice that whilst he's standing on it, Plock. That whilst he's standing on the bridge. Plock is actually wearing the bridge down. Oh look! Buzzsaw! 
Yeah, the blue soil just mud is everything in its path. Oh! Like, later on you get a similar ability. Which is actually quite interesting. I think there's a present around here. Oh no, just a lot of shells. But shells are good. Shells contribute towards extra lives. To be honest, we are probably going to need those. Cross another rickety bridge. Ah! Nearly died. Another rickety bridge. Oh! Ah! Oh. Died. Yeah, the attention to detail actually put into this is quite something. I actually don't know how you kill those. In fact, I don't think you can. Yeah, the game is quite cruel. It's not as cruel as some of the games that have come after it, but... For its age, it's quite evil. Like, even the Pickford brothers have actually admitted it was a bit too difficult for them. And they actually have an archive of concept art for this game. I'll place the link in the description. And if I remember to, I'll even put the rest of the... Oh, sorry, I'll even put the rest of those of the links in the videos. Ah! That was not what I wanted. If you punch a berry enough times, it will eventually become a super berry and heal you for more health. I think that one was actually a bonus warp. Oh god! Yeah, I think the first episode will go through Cotton Island. The next one will cover the first part of Acrylic. And we'll go from there. Hey! I recognise those! If somebody is making a fool out of plot, then they're gonna pay. Crazy Cradles. Another Cotton Island level. Yeah. This is where the game starts getting evil. I think the gems give you some sort of non-knockback thing. Which is actually kind of bad in this game. Knockback is useful. Oh god! Yeah, water also very bad. Yeah, Plot can actually do that. Ooh, apologies for any FPS drops I may be having. For some reason my PC is going, no, don't do it. This one better be my real flag or I'll die. Don't know what I'll do. Blind leap. Yes. Uh. Yeah, random lo logs will drop on you during Cotton Island. This game is not nice. Oh! Yeah. But if you crouch, 
you'll just bounce along the entire thing. Whoa! Ah! Yeah. As you can see, I'm trying to keep all these extra lives. And also, you can tell when those annoying sign heads are going to pop up. Ah! Bonus block! Yeah, if you go out of your way to get shells, you will actually pick up extra lives quite quickly. Oh god! Oh, I think I missed that. No, I made it. This has gone beyond a joke! Yoo-hoo! Over here, Plock! Come and get it! Aha! So it's you Bobbins brothers who are behind all these shenanigans. My grandpappy warned me about you. You you'll never get your flag back, Plock. We'll stamp you out for good. Yeah, welcome to the first boss battle of Plock. The Bobbins brothers. They release these weird grenade things. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Ah! Get away! Oh, damn it! Let's try that again. You can tell I'm out of practice, can't you? Oh, God! Oh! Christ, I forgot how hard they hit. Whoa! Yeah, the boss theme is where the game really s starts to throw a, a, re a really good soundtrack at you. Whoa! Yeah, kick it in the shin. And that's the first part. Ha <laughs> ha! What a piece of cake. Grandpappy would be proud of me. That was a fine day's work. Nobody's gonna mess with my flags again. Ooh, you should have watched what you said, Plock. Plock arrived home the next morning. And I'll call it there for now, folks. See you later.